Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about a website named The Human Meat Project. This website is about eating humans' body parts I kid you not. As you can see you can register and donate. They are trying to sell people on cannibalism as a way to help the earth. So let's go over this website together, I will share my thoughts at the end of the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share the video, it's free. Human meat nutrition facts they say one body can feed up to 40 people. An average adult male 65 kilograms, only meat. They say human meat often understated for its nutritions. Human meat protein and fat density could have the same or better than other convenient meat products like beef, chicken and pork. As omnivore, human meat taste and texture is similar to pork. Not to mention the quality could be more substantial depending on quality of life ratings. One body contains every essential amino, minerals and vitamins needed for daily intake. Not only one body could feed up to 40 people, it is also the most attainable resource for meat and fat consumption. Human meat is cruelty and slaughter free and that human meat should be looked at as a food source. And that the practice of cannibalism is not uncommon in living beings. In both the animal kingdom and our human history, the consumption of one's own species has existed. During the discovery of the New World, Christopher Columbus brought back what could be seen as early evidence of cannibalistic practices in modern civilization. They say the word cannibal comes from the name the Spanish gave to the Caribs cannibals. The Spanish accused the Caribbean tribe of ritualistically consuming their enemies, but modern-day scholars have doubts that it actually happened. They speculate the Caribs were engaged in an anti-colonial battle with a host of European powers. Many historians now argue that the cannibalism rumors were just a propaganda tactic by the Spanish meant to provoke fear. The word cannibal was used as a derogatory term to describe tribal and native people and became an indirect ethnic slur. Human Meat Donation Mission and Vision they say in order to save the planet from the impact of our modern civilization and lifestyle, we have to make a change in our ideas about consumption and our dietary choices. They say because we face climate change due to waste, pollution, deforestation and overpopulation problems. By donating your body for human consumption, you are taking direct action to help others and lessen the damage of the industrial age. They say by consuming human meat, we will create a change in both our life and the world. By improving the standard quality of life in every country and nation, we can give everyone in the world a good life. Over time, the human population has increased rapidly across the globe, leading to a higher demand for food, especially meat products. With this increasing demand, land for residential areas has become more difficult to find and emissions from farms have risen every year, making the lives we lead less sustainable. They believe that by donating bodies and or organs they can make a change by creating alternative meat consumption options while addressing the value of a person's body. They want people to donate their whole body including organs. They say your entire body including your internal organs, blood, bone marrow, skin tissue and reproductive system. Only certain body parts and or certain organs. You can also select certain body parts or organs you wish to donate. For example, one kidney or half a lung. You can choose as many or as few organs as you wish to donate. Who can donate? Any healthy, living human can donate their body for consumption, regardless of age. Every human donor will be medically evaluated to avoid the spread of contagious disease. If a contagious disease is detected, the applicant will be rejected. You can be a living donor. They will only harvest a whole body from a donor after a natural death has occurred. The donor's body will then be evaluated to see whether it is up to their standards. If the meat donor is also an organ donor, they will only harvest in accordance with the donor's request and contact the donor organization for harvesting. If the donor wants to donate certain body parts while alive, they highly advise the donor to consider the lifelong disability that may ensue, how it will impact your life forever. A donor can donate certain parts of their body or organs except for vital organs like the brain and heart and continue living after donation. However, becoming a living donor will affect your life forever. It could be a minimum disturbance or change the way you live forever. Living donors must be aware that depending on what they donate, it may lead to difficulties or detrimental impacts on their mental health and personal life. To become a living donor, the donor must make sure they fully understand the risk and circumstances they will have to live with, including the possibility of disability, psychological problems, missing limb syndrome, health problems, financial problems, and more. The possibilities depend on what and how much the donor will donate. 
They say that they will not harvest any parts or organs that could risk a serious life-threatening outcome for the donor. The donor must sign a legal agreement stating they are aware and accept the risk of being a living donor. After the donation occurs, the donor will be put into a convalescent program to educate them about the new life they will live. Every living donation carries a risk. Human Meat Project will not take any living donation if the donor shows any hesitation or doubt and will cancel the donation contract immediately. They have meat donor cards. A meat donor card is an identification card for donors in case of emergency or if medical action must be taken. It indicates the body as a meat donor and that it will be taken away for harvesting. Every identification number is linked to their meat profile. End date. Sometimes, if a donor is fully committed to donating their body to the society, they give them an end date service. For an end date service, a donor can choose any date they want to be harvested. End date services are a way of allowing donors to make important arrangements and have time to live their life up until the date they choose to be harvested. They highly advise meat donors think carefully and discuss with their families before choosing a date. When the end date is near, they will be called in for health and physical evaluations. The Human Meat Project will provide spiritual or religious service if the donor is spiritual or religious. The donor is also allowed to call in their personal spiritual or religious guidance. They believe that by giving these services, they can help the donor to have a peaceful death and produce better quality meat. Harvest Time They say the donors will be taken care of by their specialized team to make sure they are treated with full respect and care. Donors will be prepared emotionally and physically to enter the harvest room. Donors will be given time to spend their last moment as a person before they become human meat. They say the donor will then be assisted in a painless and peaceful method of passing away, after which they will immediately begin the harvesting procedure and harvest the donor body and or organs. They say they assist donors in a peaceful and respectful way to terminate their life and harvest their bodies to become a consumable resource for those in need. When a donor chooses partial donation with an end date service, the body will be cleaned and prepared before being returned to their next of kin based on any previous arrangements. Evaluation of physical quality. Before harvesting, they say they will conduct a thorough medical and physical checkup to make sure the donor is healthy and free of contagious diseases. During this time, they will also evaluate their BMI, body mass index for meat categorizing. They have an observation and regulation unit. Before end date services and harvesting, the donor will live in their observation and regulation unit for one to two months. Every donor will be prepared mentally, emotionally, spiritually and physically before the termination of their life. ROP, Rights of Peace. Every human life is valuable and acknowledged. They say that they highly value their donor's rights when they are both alive and deceased. Rights of peace mean that even when a donor has donated their entire body for consumption and had their life terminated, their rights will still be active. For example, if a donor opted out of having their identity be public, they say that they will respectfully avoid disclosing their identity. In addition, every choice and decision a donor makes after harvesting is still valid and binding. A donor's rights of peace are entrusted to the donor's legal representation or next of kin. If a donor does not assign or have next of kin, they say that they will follow any agreement made prior to harvesting. Even beyond death, every human still carries their rights of peace. They say they believe every life is everlasting. No life will be forgotten or dismissed. Consent. What is consent and what it means for you? Upon registering to be a human meat donor, every donor must give their consent and rights to the Human Meat Project for processing the application and information to be in their system. They will use your data only for labeling your meat and or organs accordingly. Human Meat Project process every donation applications and store it in their database to further improve the meat donation system in the future as well delivering the best quality of human meat to be consumed. By registering to become a meat donor, you the donor, give them the followings. The consent over your body for medical and health evaluation to be terminated if end date is chosen and to be harvested. The consent and rights to be consumed by other human beings. The consent to be labeled and listed in donor list as well as a meat label. If we were not living in these times, I would consider this website a joke. Eating the flesh of another human being is not only sinful, it is extremely evil and wicked. We will see an increase of cannibalism in this world, in these last days. Cannibalism is pagan and the Most High does not condone it. It doesn't matter if someone is already dead or still alive, it is still wrong. The Creator teaches us to eat plants and animals not people. And there are mental and physical effects to eating human flesh because, when you willfully break the Most High's laws, there are curses that follow your wickedness. So I hope you found this video helpful, if you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.